let us discuss the case of acceleration and retardation in a journey in this illustration where we are given that a train stops at two stations d distance apart and takes time t second from one station to another we are given that if it first accelerates at an acceleration alpha then d accelerate at retardation beta we need to show this relation here we already studied in basic concepts that when in a single journey both acceleration retardation are there it can be easily handled by drawing velocity time graphs so let's draw the same over here we are given that first it accelerates so vt graph will be a straight line and here if this angle is theta 1 we can write tan theta 1 is equals to alpha and then uh, say up to a time t1 it accelerates and then it retards so again this will be a downward sloping line if this angle is theta 2 we can write tan theta 2 is equals to beta because the retardation here is beta and we consider say t2 is the time of retardation in this situation and say in this motion vm is the maximum speed attained by the train then we can write the distance between a and b these are the two stations we can write d as the area of the curve which can be written as half the altitude of the triangle which is vm multiplied by t1 plus t2 which is the total time of motion which is already given as t so this can be written as half vm t so this will give us the maximum speed of train in the journey which is 2d by t now here we can further write as alpha is the acceleration which can be written as tan theta 1 and this can be written as vm by t1 in the triangle similarly beta is the retardation in onward journey which can be written as tan theta 2 which we can write here as vm by t2 and uh, as we know the total time is t1 plus t2 which is the total time of this motion then here we can write the value of t1 as vm by alpha plus here t2 we can write as vm by beta is equals to the time t so here we can write this expression as 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta is t divided by vm if we substitute the value of vm from here you can see the result we are getting is t square by 2d This is what we are required to prove over here.